if you're among the students writing GCE biology this year, this video is for you. If it is your first time of just coming across this video, please all I want you to do is just hit the subscription button and also turn the subscription bell on so that anytime we post in this channel, you can be able to get notification anytime we post. So on today's edition, I'll be taking us on biology practicals, GCE 2024 biology practicals. So I want you to pay attention to this video because this video is going to help you a lot as a GCE student writing GCE biology this year. Now I am making this video in reference to some of the questions I have been getting um, from GCE candidates. Okay, from GCE candidates. So many of them come to my inbox asking me concerning GCE specimen, GCE biology specimen, so that they can be able to prepare for their GCE biology practical exam. So pay attention. I am going to tell you everything you need to know as well as the questions and the answers you should be expecting and how to tackle it very, very well. It is very, very important. And also I want to say congratulations to all the people who have subscribed to our um, exam channel. You have subscribed to our exam channel. And um, for those of you who wrote Aglic some days ago, I must say congratulations and I wish you all good luck because the last time when I was making video on Agric Practical, I made you to understand that Wayek or Neko will not give you any specimen, just like the, the previous exams that have been taken, like the April, May exams, where specimen will be given um, to teachers to get the materials ready so that on the spot of that exam, the materials will be presented for you and then you use the materials to answer the questions in the exam paper. It is not like that in GCE. GCE, every specimen are all incorporated into that question paper. You are not going to see them separately. So everything you are going to see as far as the GCE specimen is concerned will all be written inside that question paper. It will be drawn inside the question paper. It is not a physical material. Please take note. So for those of you who will be searching online looking for specimen and possibly you may um, stumble some of the agents who would tell you that they have the specimen. Please, it is a very big lie. Specimens are not given. Specimens are not given separately. You will see it on that day of the exam. But look at this. There are some certain keys. There are some certain things you need to know as far as GCE biology is concerned. And when you know all this, it will help you to answer the questions effectively and come out with a flying column. I believe all this while my students, none of them has ever had any issue as far as, as results are concerned because they pay attention to my video. So if you must skip this video, please, I want you to leave this particular channel instantly because you will not gain anything by skipping the video. But if you can be able to calm down, watch this video to the end, I promise you that you will never regret it. You will come at the end to say, thank you, you've really done novel. So let us look at some of the possible questions that GCE don't fail to ask the students. Remember what I said, I made you to understand that the specimen are all drawn in that question paper. So what they do now is by the time they draw the specimen in that particular question paper, they begin to ask you questions based on that thing that is drawn in that question paper. Okay, now look at the things they must not fail to ask you. Number one, kingdoms of some organisms. Okay, kingdom of some organism drawn in that question paper. It is very, very important. So I will advise you to go and, you know, look for or study about kingdoms of some of these organisms. They are very, very important. Okay, now let us take, for example, um... Let us take, for example, um, rats, okay? Let's take, for example, a rat. Now, the kingdom, they may ask you, what is the kingdom of the organism in the diagram? So always bear in mind that the kingdom is animal 
kingdom. Very, very important. They must not fail to ask you about the class of the organism. Classes of the organism is very important. You go and learn it. The class there is, um, is mammal. They must not fail to ask you the phylum to which the organism belong. So that is how the question comes. The phylum now, we say it is codata. And again, go and learn how to draw. Very, very important. Go and learn how to draw. It is very important because they must ask you to draw and also level. Now, there is something that you must understand as far as practicals, biology practicals are concerned. Every biology practicals, the um, drawing aspect is very much important, which they don't joke with it. And it carries a very high mark. Very, very important. So it is left for you now to go and learn how to draw some organisms. Okay? So now after drawing, learn how to label it. And know it that labeling in biology is quite different from labeling in every other subject. Or possibly drawing in biology is different from drawing in every other um, subject. Please, one of the things you must consider or you must try to um, note in drawing as far as biology is concerned is please try to avoid painting. You don't paint in biology. Very, very important. Now, again, you try to avoid broken lines. Okay? Broken lines. And again, you try to avoid um, you try to avoid using making your work to be rough. So when you want to draw, make sure that your pencil which you are to draw with is very sharp and make sure you draw with pencils. Very, very important. Now, when you want to label, possibly label one side. Now, if I may advise you while labeling, let your label be with pencil so that it will make your work to be very, very neat. Now, after drawing, ensure that you give the drawing a title. Very, very important. Don't fail to do this. Make sure you give the drawing a title. For example, where you are asked to draw um, a maze weevil, a maze weevil. Now, after drawing the maze weevil and labeling, come to the under or before you start drawing on top and write diagram of a, male, a maze weevil. Or you come to the under after drawing and write diagram of a, male, a, a maze weevil. It is very, very important. So you must not joke with it. Now, biology practicals are usually, they are usually tactical in marking their questions. So when you are answering any question as far as biology practicals are concerned, you must be very, very careful in your answering. Now, another thing they don't fail to ask is economic importance. Okay? Economic importance. Now, listen, when we hear the word, when you hear the word economic importance, it does not mean just the benefit only, which I normally say in most of my videos, it does not mean the importance only. It is talking about both the good aspect of that organism and the bad aspect of that organism. So have it in mind that they must ask you to state the economic importance of that particular organism drawn in the question paper. Okay? Now, if you're asked to state the economic importance of, let's say, um, um, that's the economic importance of a grasshopper. Economic importance of a grasshopper. Now, you know that the grasshopper serves as food. Yes, it serves as food to birds. Okay. Now, you also know that it helps to pollinate our plants. Okay. Now, you also know that it destroys planted crops. You will also know that it increases the cost of production at the cost of trying to control them. So these are the things you must put in place. You must consider mm, when answering the economic importance of some of these organisms. They are very, very important. Now look at this. They must not also fail to ask you to state the similarities between two organisms drawn in the question paper. That is one thing you must understand. You must be very careful in your observation. Okay? So that is very, um, very important. You must know that. Now, they must not fail to ask you to state the difference 
between two particular organisms, two specimens that is written in that particular question paper. So note, I have mentioned um, the I have mentioned the kingdom, the phylum, class, drawing, similarities and difference, including the economic importance of some of the drawings that you will see in that question paper. They must not fail to ask you to state the adaptive features of these organisms. It is very, very important. They don't fail to ask the question, adaptive features. So when you are asked to state adaptive feature of an organism, please note that the adaptive features are those parts those parts of the body of the organism that they use to perform a particular um, function. For example, when we talk about adaptive feature of, um, of, a, of, a, of a bed, okay, of a bed, for example, the, the peak is used for feeding, the eyes is used for seeing, the wings is used for flying, the feathers is used for warmth or temperature regulation, the, the claws are used for grasping, okay, the, the, talk about the nose, the nose are used for breathing. So all these things are the things you need to state. So when you, when they ask you, state the economic, sorry, when they ask you, state the adaptive futures and their functions, that is that. But when they say just adaptive features, just mention all the parts that you are seeing there. So in most cases, they will ask you to draw. After drawing from the drawing, you can. They will not ask you to state the adaptive features of those organisms. Now, if you are stating the adaptive features, it just means that you should write out those things that you label, just like the eyes, the nose, the feather, the legs, the nose, and all the rest of them. The wings. Or let's say incense, the adaptive features, we have the, the appendages, we have the the mouth, the mouth, we have the eyes, we have the antenna, we have the wings, we then we have the um the spiracles. So all these things are the things you must put in place. Okay, so I am giving you all this so that you'll be able to know them, so that you it will not be strange. Do not be strange or begin to contemplate whether this or that. Okay, so they are very, very important.